The time has come for me to finally pack my hospital bag. Oh lord, am I overwhelmed at this point? Absolutely. But anyways, all good. Hi guys, hello, how are you? I'm very glad you clicked in this video and while you're here, I'm gonna show you all the items I'm gonna be taking with me in the hospital and also let's pack my bag together. <laughs> Am I a diva? I don't know, why am I saying that? Because as you can see, it looks like I have a lot of things, but it takes me back to the fact that I truly just want to enjoy labor. Y'all know it's not enjoyable itself, but you need to find ways to survive, right? So currently I'm 37 weeks and only two to three weeks away from birth. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I know labor will be hard and for that reason, I want to make the whole experience as zen as possible. I already made my birth plan, but that would be a talk for another video so let's get started with the items okay hi this is me sitting here showing you all the items i'm gonna take with me first item we've got is the towel i give birth and after that at some point i'm gonna need a shower because i will be staying in the hospital probably for about three days then i have the baby blanket oh my gosh so cute this is the blanket i'm gonna be wrapping the baby when we will take him at home then we have my baby's outfit the one he will be coming home <laughs> It's so cute. You have the little body that every time I see it, I want to cry. Then a tiny hat. Am I pretty? Yes, I'm wonderful. <laughs> okay, whatever. And the mittens. Freaking mittens. Okay, listen. I don't think he needs mittens. I just saw it in videos. People wear them. And also they were so cute. And I was like, you know what? I just want to buy mittens. Why not? And then his little blue jacket. Because it's a baby boy. This is the cutest jacket. I got it from my mother-in-law. It makes me so happy. We also have the muslins. I didn't know how many to take. I just took two. I don't even know what i'm gonna use them for i guess breastfeeding i guess wrapping the baby i guess the baby burping in my hand or something something so yeah i just took two of them the one is kind of large and the other one it's kind of medium and then we have the maternity bra i need one because yes my plan is to breastfeed my son nipple pads my nipples are gonna be licking milk yeah you need nipple pads with you in the hospital right yes you do the next item i am taking with me is the cream i don't even know if i need it with me in the hospital but i'm taking taking it okay this item if you know what it is you know if you don't know you don't have to know okay you know what whatever it's for the vjj after you give birth you put warm water in there and then you go down there and then you go like flu 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 and all good happy ending it helps you cure after giving birth ice pack this thing apparently saves your life you definitely need one of those after giving birth because it's gonna hurt down there i am also bringing my i call it birth nightgown i bring two of those one for giving Giving birth and one for wearing after giving birth and then i have my breastfeeding hat no i'm joking it's a pillow <laughs> i don't know if i have to take it but you know i'm a very lazy person so from the moment my son is born and i have to breastfeed he's gonna have his breastfeeding pillow this item you might be wondering what the hell is that they're fairy lights i am bringing fairy lights with me because i watched the youtube video she had her hospital room very nice and decorated and i was like that girl is a genius you really need to to find a way to make your room cute so you can enjoy and relax and go through it somehow so yeah fairy lights very clever right i got you i got you and then i've got the oil diffuser yes i am that special okay i need to find a way to relax when i give birth because i said listen get some oil get an oil diffuser take it with you in the hospital you need something that makes you calm and patient and zen <laughs> so i got this oil diffuser lavender mushes oil this product is for my husband he's gonna massage me all the time we already talked about it. i said to him listen this is for you this is what you're gonna do with my back and you're gonna help me go through the labor by massaging me because i need help okay in order to go through labor next item is giving birth underwear i can wear them in the hospital as you can see they're see-through they're very 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 comfortable i call these the grandma diapers but you know they're just post pantroom pads that i'm gonna be wearing after giving birth baby diapers and the wet wipes i think i I will take all of the diapers because you never know and all of the wet wipes then we have toothpaste toothbrush deal for after shower shower
shower gel for shower and a sponge for shower <laughs> i'm also gonna bring my vitamins by the way i'm having issue with the vitamin situation because i was like am i supposed to get the prenatal vitamins i was taking before or should i start taking postpartum i don't know whatever i'll figure out on the way i'm taking my vitamins with me snacks who doesn't love snacks of course i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna pack these bananas until three weeks from now because they're gonna become black but i'm just giving you an example of what type of snacks probably i will be taking with me my water bottle my husband is gonna have some bottles in the car as well to refill i don't know what's the situation with the hospital the water is drinkable i don't know you cannot go anywhere without your water bottle the electronics i need my airpods i need my ipad the reason why i'm bringing my ipad is because i don't know how labor is gonna go i definitely want to put some music watch some movies find a way to just push through i don't know you know and i need my kindle the last item is just so stupid but i'm gonna show you anyways is my little clock i take this clock everywhere because you know i'm not the type of person that i like to keep checking my phone or whatever or what the time is so i'm just gonna have this tiny clock with me i really love it yeah and that's it let me know in the comment section do you think that's a lot do you think any of these items are absolutely unnecessary or absolutely necessary let me know your opinion i can't wait to hear from you Okay, this is a time where we are gonna pack all the items in the bag. And while we're doing that, I would like to talk about the whole going through labor. What's my position on it at this point? To be honest with you, I am not scared, but I have my days when I'm like, oh my god, anxiety hits. I actually have to give birth and it freaks me out. <laughs> it does freak me out. But then I have days when I watch positive birth vlogs and then I calm myself down. You know, I'll be completely honest with you. I will be vlogging the whole giving birth and you will see how it went i'm quite of a positive person and i think that's what matters in the end of the day i know it's gonna be hard but guess what i'm fucking strong and i know mentally i went through so many things that they taught me in my life how to be strong even when it's unbearable i'm excited oh my god it's happening i cannot believe it <laughs> okay we are all done we are ready to rock and roll to any time the baby comes and go to the hospital i really have a lot of support from my husband which makes the whole situation more calm and we're ready oh my god it's happening i'm gonna cry no i'm not gonna cry i'm fine if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and hit the like button because i personally really enjoyed making my hospital bag with you guys it was a pleasure and i hope you're gonna stick around i hope i'm gonna see you around and if i do well that's absolutely amazing okay i'm gonna see you next time bye